Hey, this is Char with Canvas Hair Studio. I am here to talk about why the briar is the best briar for natural hair and other hair types. I am a stylist who's been doing hair for 23 years, and I have run into a lot of different textures and a lot of different curl patterns, and I'm here to give you a life-saving tip. So if you are interested in how to do that, stay tuned, click the subscribe button, and we will see you over the years being a hairstylist, I've come across a lot of different hair textures and I've had a lot of questions about what to buy from you guys, the consumers, as far as dryers go, flat irons and things like that. So that inspired me to come up with the Glass Effect line. Um, I know you guys, I'm not going to put nobody out in blast, I'm not going to show the uh, label, but I know you guys have seen this, right? This is the dryer we go get when we have the thick natural hair and we want to be able to manage it better and comb through it and things like that. The problem with this guy is every time you get to going, this part usually pops off or you lose teeth, okay? And what do we do? Because it's 30 bucks, we just go buy another dryer. You know, it's hard to find the replacement pieces. It's a, it's a huge problem. Um, so this one blows very well, but as soon as this is gone, it, it's just not even a good situation. Um, another thing that happens with dryers is this situation, okay? This is my personal dryer, okay? She got tape on her because this falls off as well. Uh, the concentrator is really great, but it does fall off when you're trying to use it. And if you have natural hair like I do, I've been natural my entire life. I've had a head full of hair my entire life. Every time I get a good groove, this pops off, drops on the floor, and rolls across the room, even on clients in the salon. So I had to tape her on, which is like a fire hazard, but we're not gonna worry about that, okay? Um, but she held me down for a long time, but it does get exhausting when you're trying to work, 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 and it's just popping, and rolling, popping, and rolling on the floor. So these dryers are awesome, but that's another problem as well. So with the Glass Effect Briar, um, love this tool because not only does it have the teeth on it, the teeth are flexible. You do not have to worry about this thing popping off on you. It's very lightweight for hairstylists. So if you are a hairstylist and you're worried about your wrist and carpal tunnel down the line, you don't have to worry about this because this is really lightweight. Um, for the people who travel, my travel ladies, it packs very well. So you can just throw this in your suitcase very well. And um, it also has many, 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 many functions, okay? So you no longer have to use the brush, the comb in one hand, the blow dryer in the other hand. It's all in one. Um, there's different speeds. You can do low, high. You can diffuse for the curly girls. If you're looking for something to use to diffuse your hair, it has a setting for that so you don't have the hair blowing all around. So it's so many different functions. It's going to detangle. It's going to straighten. It's going to dry. It's going to stretch your hair for the natural ladies all in one tool. So this is awesome, awesome tool that you guys can use at home. Your children can use it. I've had a lot of people use it in college. So if you're one of those people sending your children off to college, your girls, your boys off to college, you're worried about how they're going to maintain their hair, this is going to be the perfect tool for that. Uh, the teeth are flexible on this blow dryer. I've had, a lot, I've had a lot of people ask me what's the difference between this dryer and other dryers. These teeth are flexible, so you're going to have a lot a less damage and breakage and snatching. Usually when you get done using this tool, there's no hair in the dryer. So you won't be ripping out a lot of hair with this tool. And it's just amazing, you guys. So I hope that answers some of the questions you guys have about this blow dryer. Now I'm going to show you how to use it.
finish the heat shield, we're gonna go in with the Glass Effect Spray. What it does is protect your hair from humidity in this Houston weather or any state that you live in. This spray is gonna be your best friend. Uh, when you wear your extensions or even your natural silk presses, this is what's gonna allow your silk press to last a little bit longer than the average silk press would. It's gonna do great wonders as far as your shine and the hold of your style. If you're interested in trying this product, click the link below, order yours today. One cool thing about the Glass Effect Spray is it has a really nice scent. I made my products to have really cool scents because you know, I have a husband who's like a smell guy, so, and I'm a girly girl too, so I like to smell good, okay? On top of that, Valentino perfume and everything, this is gonna set it off. When they get close and smell your hair, it's not gonna smell like dirty dish <laughs> dishes or, you know, dirty laundry. It's gonna smell real cute and real good. So um, the edge control actually smells like pineapple. So um, my client was the one who uh, showed me that a second ago. She pointed out, she's like, what is that smell? I'm like, oh, it's the, it's the spray. And here's the edge control. Smells like pineapples. It's off the hook, y'all. It's off the hook. So that's another great thing about the Glass Effect line. Alrighty, we're gonna get into silk pressing her out today. She's natural, 100% natural. Um, I came out with two flat irons. This is the one inch ceramic and the one inch titanium. These tools are great because I have a lot of you guys asking me, what do I use at home? I am the professional. You are the hair person, the client, the person that goes home and does their hair. I created these tools for you. I do not want you going home using the hottest flat iron at 480 degrees, frying your hair out. And if you come to Canvas Hair Studio, you don't have to do that anyway. We still press you out. Your hair is nice, it's flowing, it's moving, and it's going to last because you've used the Glass Effect products. We've used them in the salon. They're buildable, but they're meant to help you hold that silk press longer so you won't have to go home frying and frying and frying. So these are both tools that you can use to maintain your hair at home without burning it or killing it or creating heat damage. So we're gonna go in today with the Glass Effect one inch flat iron and uh, start silking her out. So I am flat ironing her hair out right now with my one inch titanium glass effect flat iron. Um, the reason I chose to do that is because she has medium density hair and we are going for straight. I don't know if you guys can see the shine there, but you can't see the body. You can't see the movement. We're not gonna act like we can't see that. It's cute. Um, so her hair is medium density and in order for me to get her hair as straight as I needed to get, but still leave life in it and body, um, the titanium flat iron is good for that. Now, if you have like finer textured hair, I would say go with the ceramic plates because it is really going to give you a nice finish and give you enough straightening. You do not need to use a titanium if your hair is kind of like really soft and finer because you will cause heat damage to your hair. Um, these tools don't get extremely hot. I didn't make them for that. Um, but you still don't wanna be using the wrong tools because you'll be causing damage that you may not see now. It may come later on down the line. You'll notice your um, hair strands getting finer, thinner, breaking easier because you've just used too much heat in your hair. But her hair um, density and texture is okay to use the titanium flat iron for that, the Glass Effect titanium flat iron.
important to get your hair trimmed in between your luxury extension services because your hair is growing. You are flinging it around. You are wearing it. It's about to be sweater weather season. We're going to have all these cotton sweaters on. That hair is going to get tore up. Let's not neglect it. Let's not act like it's not getting tore up. We see it. So the best thing for your hair is to go ahead and trim it before it gets too bad, OK? Um, here at Canvas, we believe in leaving you with the healthiest set of hair that we can, that you will allow us to. Some of y'all just heavy handed, but I'm gonna let y'all make it. Um, but we want to make sure that no matter what type of extensions you're wearing, microlinks, eye tips, anything like that, at the end of the day, you have hair on your head left over. We're all gonna be 90 years old one day, and we don't all need to be in lace wigs, <laughs> okay? So, we're gonna make sure we get these trims and get rid of that dead hair so it doesn't split all the way up our shafts and have us looking crazy. Quick random tip, my lady here, she says she's ready to start all the way over. She's been wearing clip-ins and I don't know if you guys can see it, there's a lot of little hairs here. So, give y'all a little quick tip. When you do your clip-ins, do like a little skinny, skinny, skinny braid and create a base to clip the hair into. Don't go straight into your natural hair and clip because you'll end up with all these little random hairs poking out like this, you know what I mean? Clip-ins are amazing. I sell clip-ins, I love clip-ins, I wear clip-ins but I always do a little ghetto braid, like a little, just grab some hair. You don't have to be the best braider. Grab some hair, even a twist, to give that clip a base to dig into. That's something strong that it can hold on to without um, breaking the base of your hair. Okay, we got that good. But um, hope you guys can see how her hair is flowing. We put a nice leave-in conditioner in her hair. We put the heat shield from Canvas Hair Studio. We put the glass effect, and her hair's still moving. You see how it's not super stiff, it's not crunchy, it's super soft because we steamed her hair, steamed that conditioner in. It's just flowing, and it's gonna be a movie in a second. So, don't be afraid to get those trims, you guys. That hair is dead, we see it. to blow dry the hair in several different directions so that it can know I want it to move. Uh, but definitely when you're doing the different directions, also bringing it back down to the ground so we can stretch that hair out and get it as straight as we possibly can. But because of the briar, we didn't have to do a lot of passes with the flat iron. We flat ironed with the one inch Canvas Hair Studio Titanium Flat Iron, um, the Glass Effect Flat Iron, and we did not need to go over it a million times. We don't need to do this. The, the 12 pass. Usually if you part the hair in thin sections and run the flat iron down slowly and smoothly, let the flat iron work slowly, not, you know, just take it down one good time slow, you'll get the hair as straight as it needs to. The briar is going to do most of the work for you because once we're done blow drying it, the hair is about 70, 75% straight already. So you're just going over the flat iron to kind of just do the final finishes and the smoothing. So. Um, Pick yours up today. There's going to be a link under this video to get this dryer. Don't cheat yourself, treat yourself, okay? Save a life.